How long will my EV's battery last? Well, the answer is a lot longer than you probably think. My personal prediction is that all these cars will live out their entire life on their original battery pack. It is true that over a long period of time, lots of miles and lots of charges, your EV's battery will degrade. However, how this will manifest itself will be a loss of driving range. But they're not degrading to the level people expect or the level that is often portrayed in the media. I understand where people's fear of battery failure comes from because of course we all live with devices whose batteries do fail over a couple of years, mobile phones being the prime example. However, EV batteries have far surpassed even the manufacturer's expectations in terms of their longevity. You might think this is a bold claim given the lack of genuine data out there. It is true, the manufacturers are the ones that hold all the actual data on battery performance, but presently they are not putting much in the way of hard facts and study results out there in the public domain, which is a real shame. So I am basing our theories on our actual experience with EVs we've had and sold. Uh, this may be anecdotal, however it's based upon a lot of cars, at lots of ages and lots of mileages. It's by no means a small sample size as we've sold more EVs than anyone else in the country. What we have seen is only a barely significant drop in range over time and even over lots of miles. This Nissan Leaf just here is a perfect example of the level of degradation you can expect in your battery. It currently has 150,000 miles on the clock nearly and is seven years old. This is a lot of miles by any car's standards, especially as it's an early EV with an early battery. Being an early Nissan Leaf, I think it's fair to say this car has got one of the more basic EV batteries. Um, it's very early chemistry and it's air-cooled, not liquid-cooled. Uh, so as a result, I think you would consider the performance of this battery to show a worst-case scenario what you would expect from a more modern battery, which tends to be liquid-cooled and obviously has a much more recent chemistry. Well, this 150,000 mile car is displaying 11 out of 12 bars of battery health. This is Nissan's indicator of battery health on their earlier cars and represent a reading of well over 80% of battery health. So what this means is the range of the cars dropped down from where it started at about 80, 85 miles worth of driving range to now be about sort of 65, 70, depending on your driving style and time of year. And that's over 150,000 miles, still making the EV perfectly usable. And that degradation curve is not linear. It, the battery loses its, um, loses its state of health a little bit quicker at the start and then it slows down. So it might be sort of reasonable to assume that perhaps once the car's done 300,000 miles in perhaps 15 years time, the range will have dropped down to perhaps about 55 miles. Obviously this is less than where it started, but that's still more than sort of original EVs had to begin with. And at 55 miles, if you're doing local commuter driving, the car will remain perfectly usable. It is of course worth pointing out that at 300,000 miles of driving, most combustion engine vehicles would have had numerous failures and would probably now be residing on the scrap heap. Now this example is based on an early low range EV. If we use even roughly the same formula on a newer, much more modern EV with a higher range, you might be perhaps in a worst case scenario looking at your what, 280 mile range EV after 300,000 miles of driving and maybe 15 years perhaps being a 200 mile range EV, which actually is still a bigger range than most of the EVs that are out there in the marketplace at the moment. So again, long-term battery health and degradation, we're still looking at the car being perfectly usable for a very, very long period of time. So ultimately batteries do degrade, but not to a really significant extent, and certainly not to the extent that you might expect. And this manifests itself as loss of range, and that's perhaps only relevant on your longest of journeys. I would also actually add, that over the same time that your battery is degrading, i.e. a long period of time, um, you're actually getting better as an EV driver, and as a result, the loss of range will probably more than compensate in your skills as an EV driver. Also, over a very long period of time, I think it's fair to assume that um, your average driving speed will reduce because of increased traffic congestion. So again, with uh, velocity being the enemy of range, as the car slows, your range will increase again. So it may well actually mean over a very long period of time, although in theory the battery capacity will reduce, you won't even actually notice the car losing its driving range. There is also the chance of the battery to have a more serious issue, such as a cell failure, which will lead to a significant drop in battery performance. To put this into perspective, out of about 2,000 EVs that we've had experience with, we've seen this happen three times. Uh, and on neither occasion has it been a catastrophic failure, and all have been repairable at roughly the same price as a gearbox replacement. It's a common myth that EV batteries can't be repaired, whereas in fact they're all made up of lots of little individual cells. So if there's a problem with one of those cells, it's simply a case of removing the broken cell and replacing it with a new one. Uh, whilst this is specialist work, it has to be said, 
Over time, and certainly over a long period of time, uh, it's going to become a much more commonplace, cheaper, cheaper repair uh, that should be able to be carried out by most mechanics as they adapt to a marketplace that's mainly EVs. So is there anything you can do to help maintain the battery health of your EV? Whilst they really are robust and almost bulletproof bits of solid state technology, there is some evidence that there are a few things you can do or avoid in order to prolong the health of your battery. One, avoid lots of rapid charging. There is increasing evidence that heat will affect the rate at which your battery degrades. Uh, when you rapid charge in your car, it does cause the battery to heat very quickly. As a result, if you do this lots, uh, it may result in slightly quicker than average degradation. Number two is reducing the number of charging cycles. Um, Batteries really do not like being topped up all the time, so unless you need the full range of your vehicle, I would suggest letting the car discharge to 50% or perhaps lower before you charge it up again. Where possible, try not to charge your battery to full unless, of course, you need the full range of the EV the following day. Um, there is evidence uh, that charging at the top of the battery is the most stressful part of its charging cycle and can cause more rapid degradation at the very top end. It's commonly considered that you should avoid charging in the top 20% of your EV's battery. A lot of this top 20% is locked out anyway by the manufacturers, and in a lot of EVs you can actually set the car to only charge up to 80%, which I suggest you do if you can. Equally, don't let the battery fully discharge. A bit like charging at the top of the battery, charging at the very bottom of the battery is equally stressful, so avoid running your car to empty. Ultimately, lithium car battery technology is super robust, and you can use your EV however you like, safe in the knowledge that we most likely never need to replace your battery, and that battery degradation in the modern EV is minimal to the point that you will hardly ever notice it. I hope this video has been helpful in allaying some of your fears over the long-term battery health in an EV. If you'd like to find out more about electric driving, please do get in touch, and thank you very much for watching.